Hey guys, it's April. Um, I just wanted to share a quick little haul. Um, Joann's had a clearance, well they have a clearance section all the time, but they had a major clearance uh, clear out of stamps and inks and all kinds of yumminess the last time I went in there, <clears throat> which was just two days ago. So if you can get to a Joann's, maybe check out their clearance section. I'm sure they would still have quite a lot of this stuff, a lot of Tim Holtz, a lot of stamps, sentiment stamps, um, a variety of uh, inks. They had Distress inks on clearance, they had Memento inks, they had the Brilliance um, inks in the, you know, the four packs like this. This wasn't one, but they have a lot of these. Um, so a, a, quite a lot of stuff that was stuff that I really actually wanted to try but would never pay full price for. So this was one of the first things that jumped out at me. I'd been wanting to, I don't do a lot of mixed media. I used to try to do art journaling and it just wasn't something that I would do. You know, I don't know. I just didn't stick with me. So, but I do like doing some canvas work and things like that. So this is the Distress Crackle, um, you know, kit that gives you everything you need for it. So. I just thought, okay, I'm going to definitely try this. Um, my friend on uh, Vix Crafts TV, um, her YouTube channel, she's just a master at everything vintage and shabby chic, and she does her own crackle technique, which I'm sure I could probably attempt to do, but I figured, okay, this is already made. I'll try this. So I picked that up for $6.97. I can't tell you what the regular prices were. But I figure that's not bad for three jars. And then some of the sentiment stamps were just so funny. I, I really don't remember ever seeing these. Um, so these are by Hampton Art. Let me zoom out a little bit. Sorry, I have the glare. Wrong way. And so there we go. So this one is, says LOL Laugh Out Loud Stamps. And then it just has a Hampton Art logo. So... Um, I'm assuming it's that Joann's brand. So this one has, it's upside down. Uh, it says, God gave us friends to make up for our family. Um, uh, where did this one? Oh, this is why I got it. Friends are like good, a good bra. They give, they give you support where you need it most. And then friends are like, fat thighs. <laughs> they stick together. I didn't even read this one. Oh my, I just saw that first one with the good bra. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I would know about that. Um, we'll be friends until we are old and senile, and then we'll be new friends. <laughs> that's hilarious. We will always be friends. You know too much. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, that's too cute. I didn't even read all those. Uh, this one is another cute one. This one is by Inka Dinka Doo. And it looks like it was some quotes taken from kids. So the one that I got it for, a lot of these are cute, but the first one that popped out at me. And these are $4.97, by the way, all the stamp sets. It says, if you're feeling blue, try painting yourself a different color by Hannah, who's age 8. And then this one says, let's see. Sorry, I can't see what the top of it says. Super funny, though. I just love what kids say. They're just so innocent and just honest and straight up about things. We should listen to them more, right? Okay, I'm like, what does that say? Yule, maybe. Come on. Okay, all you need in life is a friend who has chocolate. <laughs> That's from an 11 year old, Sophia. She's learning. Happy birthday. How many fingers are you? That was a four year old. That's cute. Getting married means she sharing your toys. And it just says, child at a wedding. It says, you make me smile all over my face. I love that one. That's age five. And then count your rainbows, not your thunderstorms. Very wise young lady at age 12, Alyssa. I thought that was super cute. And then another one of the LOL. It says, you are officially old. 
Happy birthday. I'm still younger than you. I got this one so I can make that for my brother, his birthday card this year. And then, it's hard to read these because it's like the outside. My birthday suit is wrinkled. Older than dirt. Keep calm and party on. And a party. I don't know what that one says. This one is just a birthday. A party without cake is just a meeting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, here's one of my favorites. You might want to get this one if you can find it. So super cute. Home is where your craft supplies are. Or home is where... Home is where your crafts... Where... What? I can't read upside down. Sorry. Home is where you keep your craft supplies. Duh. Okay. Caution. Woman crafting. Keep calm and craft on. <laughs> Plays with scissors. <laughs> crafting keeps me sane and then just a little emblem there so I really really this is the first one I saw and I was like oh my gosh I have to have that and then so that was it for the like I know I have another one but I don't know what I did with it so anyway but that's the main ones that I got and then this one I saw recently on Facebook um Gosh, I can't think of her group name, but I watch her, Stacy. She has a YouTube channel, and she runs a, a stamp supply company. And she just showed some stamps that she's ordered from Germany, I believe. And they're by Imagine Stamps, I believe is the company name. Anyway, she showed some samples and asked some questions on Facebook doing a feed about it. And it was just gorgeous. It had basically like a, a stallion and then like this splatter spray of just, you know, a spray behind the horse. Absolutely gorgeous. Another one that they had was similar to this where it was just a herd of horses running across and it had some kind of dust kicking up, you know, but it looked like splatter, like paint splatters. So absolutely gorgeous. And I thought, well, surely I can recreate that look in a card using this stamp set. So... You know, I grew up with horses and training. Um, I was training in, in equestrian jumping before my father passed away. So uh, definitely a horse fan and um, just a gorgeous set for $4.97, you know. So got that. I showed you the crackle paint. And then another thing I had been wanting to try, you know, just have in my stash is the stamping jig thing. And that is what it's called. <laughs> I thought I was saying it wrong. Stamp a jig thing. Okay. So I embellished the thing, but it's a called a stamp -a jig and I think you all know what it is. And I do have a mini Misty, but I thought, you know, there's some times that you really can't fit what you want into the mini Misty. I'm probably going to save and get the Tim Holtz, his stamp, uh, you know, positioner that he just come out with. So when that's released, I'll probably be getting his. I was going to get the Hampton Art one. I actually saw it for the first time in our stores when I was there the other day, but I thought, you know, I really don't like being limited by the corners. And sorry, this is horribly messy. But I don't like the fact that it has the three corners blocking you, you know. So even on the the larger Misty, same thing. You're going to be trapped in here and limited to your size because of this side, you know, having that little ledge. Yes, you can go over, but I don't like doing that with my cardstock you know I don't care when you bring it down it's going to leave a mark and you know it is what it is for me anyway it does that so with the Tim Holtz one however I noticed you know his platform is going to be straight across and you have the thickness and you have everything that's going to be in the glass or the attachment you bring down to give you you don't have to swip out you know uh, the foam pad you don't have to do all that it's just you know which way do you want to do it and take your top and flip it over to what what uh, resistance you need for this type of stamp you're using but again with the three sides the Hampton Art one has that too so I don't like that and I just decided against it but in the meantime for the stamps that I want to do you know this would really come in handy I would think so hopefully that'll work out and be worth it and then I just picked up some um, you know basic craft supplies I, I'm, I'm tempted to order the big roll that everybody has because they really do go through this so fast. It's just ridiculous. This is $6.99 for how many? It says, I don't know how much it is. Hmm. 
times 150 inches, so don't ask me to do math. But you know, it doesn't last long if you do just a few shaker cards and then, you know, I do have some other little foam dots and stuff, but it just doesn't seem like enough. And then I asked Crazy Paper Chick what um, black cardstock she uses because I really like, you know, her cards that she does when she uses the black cardstock and it looks like a good, you know, cardstock. So, um, I don't like to have to order supplies online. I just am impatient. <laughs> I'd rather be able to run out to the store and get what I what I like and need. So I picked up the brand from Michaels. Um, and this is the only one they had that's 110 pounds. So it's pretty expensive, but I used my half-off coupon. So it wasn't too bad once I did that. But I think it's normally $14.99. You get 100 sheets, though. So hopefully that will work out, and that's going to be a, a good cardstock to use for black. And then while I was there, um, I had been wanting to try, I picked up some, just a, a little small pack of Spectrum Noir pencils, no, Prisma, duh, Prisma color pencils, and I got some Gamasol and I got the sharpener, but, um, you know, uh, I didn't have Bristol Smooth paper, so they had a buy one, get one half off, and I figured I'd pick it up. They're $9.99 for one pad. Um, so I should have plenty to last me for a very long time, but I thought I would do it while they, you know, uh, I'm sure it would have been more economical to just buy one pad and use a half-off coupon, but I was using the half-off coupon on the black card stock. So the only other things that I picked up are um, stuff that I can't show you because it's for a friend. But I picked up this uh, little dollar frame, just a wooden frame, so uh, I can use the crackle paint, and I'm going to experiment with that. So I'm making a working, I'm still working on all the embellishments for, let me show you, I've been painting some butterflies, some wood veneer butterflies. And the theme that <clears throat> I'm working on for someone is teal and copper, so... This side doesn't have any copper paint on it yet. Sorry, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this one's still the wood. So that's the natural color it was, and then this is the copper and the teal. And the paints that I got to do this, so my project is uh, making a frame for someone. She wants to frame something her husband gave her. So I'm just working on all these wood veneers, but I want to do the background crackle and do a very distressed mixed media look. Not dark because we have teal and copper, but I definitely want a mixed media a background. But the paints are brushed metal by Folk Art, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I still have to do another coat on the butterfly, and this one is really beautiful called Color Shift. Um, so Aqua Flash. So anyway, so that's what I'm working on, and I'm um, sorry about that glare. Um, <laughs> let me move it. So that's everything for now, and hopefully I'll have some videos coming up soon. I got the software installed on my computer finally, and now I just have to get the um, mess on my table cleaned up. So I just did a video showing you some... Uh, alcohol using alcohol inks on your distress mini distress ink cube tins if you want to check that out and also you can check out a lot of my work on Instagram it's under uh, for the love of crafts but it has an underscore right before the word crafts so I hope you'll come and look at on Instagram and see my work and um, in the meantime thanks for watching bye guys